Los Amigos Cash, our president and CEO of Cash International Luxury Real Estate. Hey guys, how's it going out there? Uh, it is a beautiful Sunday here in the Dominican Republic. I'm specifically in Santo Domingo. You guys have seen me do a video right over here. I'm in the center of town, right where Acropolis Center is, in uh, a neighborhood that I believe is going to be an amazing spot for you guys uh, if you're looking to move into an urban, up-and-coming, energetic, exciting city called San Domingo. This, I'm in Piantini specifically. So as you guys know, we're in season three. We're spending a lot of time here in San Domingo. Uh, we want to expose you guys to it. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to be heading to the National Aquarium. So um, as I was getting ready for this intro, I was trying to find some information about the National Aquarium online. And guess what? 20 minutes later, I can't find any significant information uh, on the National Aquarium. So what does that tell me? That tells me that um, you guys just don't know too much about San Domingo. You don't know too much about uh, what I'm going to be describing to you here in Season 3, um, uh, uh, San Domingo specifically, and the attractions, the amenities, and all the cool things. This was on a whim. We decided, hey, what are we going to do? It's a Sunday. Elle doesn't have school. She wanted to head out and do some cool stuff. So we said, hey, let's take her to the aquarium okay the national aquarium so we're going to be taking you on a tour today we're going to show you what it's all about so you completely un hey there's l l saying guess what so l is taking all the credit for this video she's saying this was all her it was her idea and she is right so we're going to be taking you to the national aquarium today we're going to show you what it's all about so you guys can understand we'll get some more information for you and therefore you guys will have some info on um on what the National Aquarium boat is about, is all about. And in coming weeks, what we're going to be doing is we're actually also going to be hitting the National Zoo. 47 years. It just cel celebrated its 47th year uh, in 2022. So in uh, so right now, 48 years. 47 years, buddy. Yep. So we are going to be heading to the National Aquarium. Stick stick around. Let's do it, guys. Enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us here today on this special video we're going to be doing in Santa Domingo. Uh, specifically, we're going to be taking you to the National Aquarium. We're going to show you what it's all about. Uh, we spent a bunch of time online trying to find info. We couldn't find clear and concise info for us North Americans, that is, okay? Uh, I'm learning my Spanish. I'm getting better and better each day. However, I'm not fluent, and uh, you don't need to be either to enjoy your life here in Santa Domingo and uh, to create a life here and create businesses and opportunity, all that stuff. So what we're doing here in season three, guys, remember we're delivering the trifecta, trifecta, San Domingo, Las Trenas, and Punta Cana, all within two hours of each other, okay? Uh, for this point, obviously, Punta Cana to Las Trenas, that's four hours, but it's in a triangle shape. And uh, so we're bringing you that entire experience, all different experiences, all world-class, all love where you live type of experiences and uh, so we want to expose you to the entire country it's an up-and-coming country emerging market uh things are taking off so uh we want you to get exposure to the whole thing so today's video we're going to be taking you out it's a sunday afternoon like we said in the intro Elle decided we're going to go do something fun and she said let's go to the national aquarium so today's video we're going to be heading out so uh we're going to give you a rough idea on the drive it's showing that it's about uh six or so kilometers away uh, on a sunday you guys can have a look Sundays are a great day to travel uh, and do these kind of things with the family here in San Diego because traffic uh, is very much under control. During the course of the week, traffic is nuts. Uh, there's no hiding that. That is a something that, you know, if you hate traffic, not the spot for you because it's part of it, but uh, the urban environment and the restaurants and the shopping and all those other elements that drive people to live in up and coming cities exist here. All right, guys. So drive wise we're gonna we're gonna head on out now we're gonna say hi to you guys again in a few seconds here when we get to the national aquarium we'll tell you about the parking how much it costs to get in what it looks like take for the whole tour enjoy the video stay with it remember like subscribe and share thanks <laughs>
All right, so we're here, we made it. Uh, parking, it's right here, security. We'll park right back over there. And uh, we parked a little bit away from, uh, just like a couple steps away. So this is the entrance, this is how you get here, right across the street. We're gonna do a really cool video across the street. There's a amazing water park. I'll kind of pop it up on the screen, kind of get a little bit of, get calibrated on where that is relative to the National Aquarium. But we're gonna be heading on into the National Aquarium now. A little spot you can grab some coconut water, fresh coconuts. On the drive over here, you guys were able to see uh, all the development happening on the waterfront here. It's called the Malacone. They're in phase two of that development, but in that drive, you're able to, to kind of get a glimpse of the bike pass, the walking pass. All of this waterfront is being completely redeveloped here in uh, Zona Este. Chris was telling me it's called Este, this part of the of San Domingo. So this is a massive, massive city, as you guys can see. And there's all sorts of stuff happening. There's condos in the background. Uh, there's new ones going up. So we're gonna really dial into this area for you if this is something that you are interested in. And we're coming up on it right now. I think you could have parked a little bit further up, potentially. We parked uh, the first parking spot we saw, but it's just a short walk. Hey guys, so Chris is taking care of it. One important uh, thing to know is that it's only cash, okay? So we got the sign there, prices super cheap, US four bucks uh, for children and adults are five. So 250 pesos or 300 pesos. Really, really cool. Uh, but remember, you must bring cash, bring your pesos. Uh, there's no credit here. So our, on top too. No, so our, under. Oh, where? It's a big one in there. Well, it's a big one in there, man. So our first spotting of animals, turtles. Pick her up. Wow, you're up really close. I've never seen one before. Bonita. This is kind of cool. Uh, over here, you can see the size of a blue whale. Here's a blue whale skeleton. Oh, look at the blue whale skeleton. The one thing I'm noticing here, guys, that's pretty unique is that it's very quiet. And so you got, you're not crowded in here. There's tons of space. Maybe it's a little bit early on a Sunday. People get going a little bit l later here. But as it's large, it's a very large space. Let me see. This is a dolphin with sharp teeth. That is a dolphin with sharp teeth? Yeah. Let me oh man, that's so cool, Elle. That is so cool. The other thing that's pretty cool is how open you are. It, typically things are like closed off. You can't really see them. But over here, things are really, really open, right to uh, right to people. Wow. That's scary looking. Eh? Have a look at this, guys. This is a sea urchin. Never actually seen one before, but these are in the water, all over the place. You step on those, the spikes, they get you really good. Pufferfish. Oh my god. Lobster. Oh my god. Lobster. Oh my Look at the lobsters. Why do people eat those big I don't eat them, man. Me and you don't eat those. I don't have I'll never eat that. Mama will. Is that weird? No, Mama won't. <laughs> One thing that's really awesome to see in a little bit is we're oceanfront with this thing, with this entire national aquarium. It's really cool. Figure out what those are. I think they're tuna. What do you guys think? They got a cool tunnel here as well. So we're going to go through that tunnel right now. 
All right, let's go in the tunnel, Al. Oh, baby shark. There's a shirt. Hey, so we have gone through most of the aquarium. Okay. Okay, probably within 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you can see almost everything depending on. So we're going to check out the outside and see what's there. Sure. All right, so we're on the outside here of the aquarium. We entered back there and that literally oceanfront. What, what a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous environment this is to have a, a national aquarium. And it, the prices were amazing. So if your prices are a little bit different, I shared them in the beginning. Uh, resident and non-resident, okay? So keep that in mind. They've got a little restaurant here. I'm gonna show you that. They've got a little little thing where you can run in these uh, little balls. I think we're gonna hold off on Elder. I think that'd be a little, a little hot cafe. I truly believe this is an oceanfront that has not been developed to its full potential yet. Have a look. What a beautiful environment this is. Gorgeous cliffs. The waterfall over there coming in. Look at how beautiful this is. This is all part of Santa Domingo, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the city off in the distance. Let me see. I'm going to walk out here. You guys can see it. This is what makes living here special is you're so close to all of this. It took us, I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, something like this, to get here. Okay, look, there's a beautiful San Domingo off in the distance and that's where we came from. City on the water in paradise. There it is, there's Piantini, there's the city. You can see it all right there in the distance. It is really, really mesmerizing. There's the aquarium, oceanfront. And this is what we like. This is what entices me about this uh, country. It's, it's, that, it's, it's so glorious in, in, as far as the beauty of it goes. You've got San Domingo sitting right over there. As you know, two hours away, I head that way and I hit Las Trenas. I go that way, that way, and I hit Punta Cana. Uh, two hours there, two hours to Las Trenas. 10 minutes to San Domingo aquarium across the street. We're going to be, look how beautiful this is. Look at that. This little waterfall is just pouring in. Look at the natural beauty of this place. It's just phenomenal. And all of this, when I'm talking about the Malacone, I'll explain that to you really quick. All along there where we came in, all of that has been redeveloped. Okay. All of it has been redeveloped in phases and they're launching it. So what that's going to do is development is going to spread all along this road that we're on today where the aquarium is. What that is spelling out for you is uh, opportunity for quality of life and for uh, financially for yourself as well if you decide to uh, do what we've done move into this market at the pace we have uh, you can do the same okay there's nothing special about us nothing unique about us we just uh, the differences between us and you if you were there watching me on uh, on your computer or on your phone uh, is that we did it and you haven't uh, believe in yourself I really think that's important it's very uh, everything that you're 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 hearing on social media TV news all of it is negative in nature at least 99.9% .9 of it is negative in nature and what that does is it creates a sense of anxiety for us North Americans and a belief that everything must be perfectly absolutely calculated right down to a T otherwise you're being fiscally irresponsible and I am not someone that believes that okay um, you overanalyze things and the old saying, old saying, old saying goes uh, uh, paralysis of analysis I think that is that is the true pandemic uh, that is just something that people there's so much information and you're constantly being thrown stuff that is negative in nature and you overanalyze it all because you're worried about what could happen and because of those reasons you spend the you spend your life living wherever it is you are living uh, granted now if you were happy where you were living then this is not something that's going to resonate for you because you already get it and you're living somewhere that you love uh, if you love north america and you love the way things are going there then this is obviously not something that you're going to resonate with however if you're like most of the people out there there's a big shift in the mindset of people and they are not looking forward to living in an environment that they are currently look at this little park this is a cool little area i'm trying to figure out where chris and l went but this is a cool little park that you can walk through people doing some photos hanging out oh, there they are i found them what a cool little cool cool little environment they created here oceanside next to the aquarium over there walking through this is an awesome little there's a little playground back here i think l's getting ready to 
make her move onto a swing set. Got all these little areas for kids to play. It really is beautiful. So they got little stations here for water, but it looks like they're closed right now. Cool environment, eh, guys? I'm falling. Over. We did it. You did it. Can I do it again? They also have a zip line set up here for Chris was trying to do it right now but I told her to hold off because there's no 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 staff on board as of right now to assist but she was ready to go it's all up there and you can take it all the way down to that side yeah so guys I think that about wraps it up you were able to uh, join us here today for our quick tour of the National Aqu Aquarium here in Santa Domingo uh, great city, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of amenities. This was all because Al said, hey, let's go do it. So we did it. Uh, stay tuned. Again, guys, thanks for joining us on the channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and share what we're doing, showing you lifestyle, showing you opportunities, ability for you to be able to do something different with the rest of your life instead of doing the same mundane stuff day in and day out in the same place. Uh, of course, you're able to hop on a plane and go visit places. It's not the same as living somewhere like this in the world okay so we're here to create that roadmap for you and help you out and show you how to do it and uh the logistics of it and all the fun stuff okay we've got that all figured out and we're laying out the uh the roadmap for you all right guys hope you enjoyed it please remember to like subscribe share remember, we've got the love where you live network of professionals spread out now throughout the country between Los Angeles, san domingo and punta cana so we're here to guide you find you the right deals the right properties make sure you buy it safe and securely connect you with the attorneys the lawyers all that good stuff everything we will make sure that you do it the way we have done it and uh one day soon you can say or wear the shirt love where you live all right guys thanks so much it's gonna get a little bit of drizzle in and amongst the sun rays and on that note uh like scrub share talk to you guys soon thanks